Uh, hi, Russell and Addison. I'm making a little video about the final project for this semester and APR. Uh, this is a criteria. I want you to come up with a belief system you have adopted. Make it something personal. Make it something that's really um, has deep meaning to you. So um, the first thing you're going to do um, after you come up with your belief system that you have adopted, uh, you're going to find a surface to make your work on. Uh, here's an example of what Gage is doing. He has an old frame, and he's going to use that for his base. Um, Cameron, can you show show them what you're using for your? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hold. Okay, this maybe we should go over there then. Okay. Um, Cameron found a old frame. She stained it. Um, she's using chicken wire for uh, back backing in that. What is your what is your um, belief system that you've adopted? So I'm doing how history repeats itself. So it's kind of like riots and like wartime stuff, and then it's peaceful, and then it starts over again. It's a cycle. Yeah. So, um, Maddie, what are you going to do yours on? Um, I think I'm going to do my belief of always having to be in control of everything. Okay. And I have a mirror that I'm going to break at home and then bring it in. Okay. In pieces. Okay. Little bucket. Um, Barbara has found a um, old clock that uh, she's working on. And Barbara, what's your your belief system that you're going to um, use for your narrative? Um, my belief system is that I believe all people eventually show they're both good and evil sides. Okay. So the yin and yang of our personalities. Okay. Duality. Okay. Um, and then, Devin. Devin, would you share what you're working with here? Uh, so I've got these two frames to work with. I'm going to mount them at about a 90 degree angle to one another. Um, then I'm going to plaster cast my arms to put them through. Um, it's a little bit easier to visualize than explain. Uh, yeah. And what's your, what's your narrative about, uh, your belief system? I think when we attribute everything to some form of a deity, we kind of lose sight of how Thanks. important we as people are mm -hmm. and individuals. Awesome. Awesome. Um, let me go back through the rest of this criteria. So you're going to start with that found uh, surface for a base. You're going to make a triptych or a diptych image. Uh, please go to Google Classroom and visit the Betty Sar um, video that I have listed on there. It's a PowerPoint, actually. Um, visit that so you can understand what I'm going for. Um, her belief system. Um, that she adopted was the inequality, um, racial inequality, especially um, black nannies raising white children. Um, I want seven textures in this. The textures can be real or simulated, so fabrics, chicken wire is a texture, smooth is a texture. I want seven different textures. Um, three images that are printed. It can be photographs. Um, Camera is using those transparencies, which are very interesting. Find something you have at home to use. Three different images. It could also be an image that you, from your phone that you've taken and um, print it and incorporate it into this composition. Um, two found objects. It could be, um, you see that Camry was using clothespins and a little curtain, drapery. Uh, Barbara, are you gonna use those hands on the clock? Yeah. yeah. So, um, two found objects, and then um, okay. you're going to use paint to create unity. Um, if you don't have paint at home, you could use uh, oil pastels or something you have available. It could be watercolor paint. Um, you're going to create unity by um, making a palette that's consistent throughout it. So, I'm going to post this, and I would love to hear a response from you guys. I hope you're both well, and um, make sure you're having contact with me soon. Bye.